good day everybody. Today's lesson is all about poetry. As I'm reading through these poems, can you listen out for rhythm and rhyme and simile? The first poem I've chosen is all about cats. Here are my cats, Freya and Thor, sleeping in some very unusual places. And the poem I've chosen is Cats by Eleanor Fargen. Cats sleep anywhere, any table, any chair, top of piano, window ledge, in the middle, on the edge, open drawer, empty shoe, anybody's lap will do, fitted in a cardboard box, in the cupboard with your frocks, anywhere, they don't care, cats sleep anywhere. The word frocks is another word for dresses. Can you spot the rhyme in that poem? Can you hear the rhythm as I am reading it? The next poem is The Eagle, written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. In the photograph, you can see the eagle diving down towards the sea with his claws outstretched. I wonder what he is about to catch. He clasps the crag with crooked hands, Close to the sun in lonely lands, ringed with the azure world he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, he watches from his mountain walls, and like a thunderbolt he falls. I wonder if you can hear the rhyme in that poem. This poem was brought to mind by the longest day which was on Saturday um, and I expect a lot of you are finding it difficult to go to bed while it is still light outside. This poem is called Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson. In winter I get up at night and dress by yellow candle light. In summer quite the other way I have to go to bed by day. I have to go to bed and see the birds still hopping on the tree or hear the grown up people's feet still going past me in the street. And does it not seem hard to you when all the sky is clear and blue and I should like so much to play to have to go to bed by day? This final poem is a reminder of the first book that we read in year three. And the topic that we covered all about rocks. And this is one of those poems that we read, which includes a lot of the stones that we looked and thought about. It's called An Emerald is Green as Grass by Christina Rossetti. An emerald is as green as grass, a ruby red as blood. A sapphire shines as blue as heaven, a flint lies in the mud. A diamond is a brilliant stone to catch the world's desire. An opal holds a fiery spark, but a flint holds fire. Remember when we were learning poetry by heart, try reading these poems aloud. Try to learn and recite poetry. I've copied here the web address for Poetry by Heart. Perhaps you would like to revisit that site and find a poem that you would like to learn. Or perhaps you'd like to try writing your own poem about an animal. Here's one I've had a go at. Rabbits hop anywhere, any meadow, any lawn, eating carrots, eating hay, twitching their ears all through the day. See if you can have a go. See if you can include some rhyme and rhythm when you're writing your poem. Thank you, everybody. And goodbye.